the language surrounding Frederick's sexuality can be a hot-button topic among historians. Yep. Not whether he was gay. He clearly was attracted to men, preferred male partners, and commissioned art with homoerotic themes. The debate is more about terminology. Yeah, so this is a big debate among historians in general. You know, we look at the past, and obviously there are uh, a diversity of sexualities throughout history, right? The question is, can we apply modern labels to historical figures? Now, Frederick is actually a more clear-cut example. Uh, it's very obvious that he was interested in men, and he doesn't seem to have shown much interest in women. So we're pretty sure that, at the very least, he was bisexual, and he was probably gay. 